Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's gonna drop off a bunch of bodies, bro. Oh my god. Dude, I have a hat on like every day, so it's like weird that I'm not used to this yet, yo. Hey, what's poppin'? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, you guys are getting a kind of like a sneak peek behind the scenes of me vlogging. I haven't used my vlog camera in a very, very long time, but right now I'm at Paul's house. Paulie! Paulie Dirt! He's up there. You can't, you can't see him. I'll show you him in a second. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, bald man, say what up, homie? Hey, my man is actually making an outro right now for the season one of Calvin McGinley. If you guys haven't been keeping up to date and you did not watch the first season of Calvin McGinley, I actually hate you. Stop this video right now and go watch the entire first season of Calvin, or I will hate you forever and I'm gonna kick you in the shin. I mean, I shaved my head for it. A lot of work went into that. Do you see this? I'm a whole hard boiled egg because of it. Better go watch that stuff. Hey, yo, my name Paulie the Bone Man. I'm at the editing Hi. desk. Hey. Yo, we just cooked up the outro of the Cal McGinley seat. Well, he actually cooked it up for me, but I felt like being a bald man for a second and going in the seat. All right, let's hear this stuff. <laughs> Was tough hey that was baldy you got to get a massage for that mm, that was tough you guys aren't gonna see this video until the first season of Calvin McGinley's done anyways but uh, we're gonna take a little chill pill today and we're gonna just go back to the old style just you know vlog and go explore something a little bit a little something crazy you know what I'm saying and just make it make it fun make it exciting for you guys I love you guys if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on the post notifications and join the family join the Duffies we are the latest family on YouTube and we make some crazy stuff happen I mean crazy stuff happen on a daily basis ah oh, my butt cheeks oh that freaking hurt Party the bald man, come gather around the campfire. Okay. I just sing that campfire song. What is this? Bougie water. Give me Bougie water. Okay, we rich rich out here. Hey yo, we gather around the campfire <sighs> to tell you guys a crazy story. Just kidding. If you guys have never heard of the app called Randonautica, I might be pronouncing it wrong. I don't know. I just heard of this. Nautica. Randonautica. I only wear Tommy. What? Nautica, that's a brand. I only wear Tommy. You're a bougie ass bitch, is all I know. <laughs> Random Nautica is apparently like an app that senses your thoughts and brings you to a random location, like in a, a random journey. And whatever you're thinking and feeling in the universe, that like comes true. I'm not sure if this thing is even like realistic or if it's true, but we're gonna check it out today. I, got I mean, the that's app. a little weird. I got the app right here called We're Random Nautica. I'm gonna read like the instructions, I guess, right here, whatever pops up on the screen. So, Random Nautica takes you on a truly random adventure in the world you never knew existed. So it's pretty much like a parallel universe I'm getting, I don't know. The quantum brain power. The process uses theoretical mind matter interaction paired with quantum entropy to test the strange entanglement of consciousness with observable reality. Random knots often find their journeys results in serendipitiousness. I dropped it out of school. Experiences that seemingly align with their thoughts. So in simpler terms, because I don't even know what I just read, but I'll kind of dumb it down for you guys. This thing takes you on a journey that you're kind of putting out into the universe. If I'm scared right now, if I'm thinking really scared it's thoughts. It's based off your vibes. And yeah, you're vi based off your vibes. Thank you, bald man. I was trying to look for the right words. It's based off your vibes. It reads your vibes in the universe and it takes you on that journey. And hopefully we come across some crazy stuff. If you guys are new to the channel, please do yourself a favor, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, join the Duffies, and we're gonna just continue to put out straight bangers on bangers on bangers, baby. Let's go on this journey together. The power is 0.22. Not sure what that really means, but I'm assuming the higher the power, the more great of the vibe that's coming across. But we gotta go. I'm gonna hit start journey now, and I'm gonna open in the max. Only a six minute drive away, two miles away. Don't know what this can possibly be, but we gonna find out today, boys. We gonna hop in the Lamborghini today. You ready, bald man? Nope. 
We about to get this journey started, baby. Oh, I love hopping in my Lamborghini every single day to start the day. It's just no better feeling, you know what I mean? It's only two miles away. You can't mess this up. Do not drive me into a tree, please. We've been driving for about a minute, literally down the street, and I'm not from around here. I was at Paul's house, so we just pulled up on a weird ass back road. We were on a highway for a second, and I was like, yo, where's this thing taking us? Like, I hope it's not in the middle of the highway. That'd be kind of whack. But look where we are. It's a weird, weird little road. Uh, gonna make a right here, actually. Oh, no, no way, dude, a little trail. All right, we'll see what we got, we'll see what we got. And the thing is, guys, I don't want to like set my vibe off, but recently, as you guys know, I just got done with the Calvin McGinley's first series. So my vibe in my head for the past month, two months has been serial killers and crazy demonic stuff. So I'm hoping that doesn't take place in this thing. Yo, I'm kind of scared. All right. So this thing is telling us to make the, the quick right right here, but look at quick right. You ready? Yeah. I there's a little tiny shack right there with a bunch of like, looks like power equipment and stuff like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna zoom in for a second. 250 feet, which is literally straight. Dude, I'm nervous, dude. I'm not even joking, bro. I'm actually kind of getting scared. Dude, what is in this shit? What is this thing? What is this place? This might be someone's house, bro. Yeah, yo, pull out. Pull out. I don't know how to pull out. That's why my Reverse. wife is pregnant. <laughs> I'm gonna park my car somewhere and then we're just gonna go on foot. I just parked my car on the side of the road. We're gonna we're gonna have to go on foot because we don't know what to expect over there, and I don't want to have a big old car stuck in snow if we had to like run away or something like that. Well, like gonna, that guy right there. Yeah, I don't know what. No, 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 I mean look at that look at that car right there. Yeah, I'm gonna show them in a second. You guys are you guys are in for you guys are in for so this app is actually like working. It took us to like a pretty cool spot. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of looks like the Jeepers Creepers. You guys never seen that what? movie? No, dude, this looks like some weird that Jeepers looks like Creepers. Toe Mater. <laughs> or, or or the tomator from uh, cars. This is very very rusted. It looks like it hasn't moved in a million years. Man, that's crazy. This car is still nicer than mine. <laughs> Your car barely moves. This one doesn't move though, so I think you got the W on this one. Shit. You're trying to go in it? Yeah, dude. The thing is like flimsy as hell. I'm gonna go in it. We're just doing donuts in the parking lot. Oh, that slides back like that. Okay. It's not very sturdy. It's very rusty, so I'm kind of scared. Oh. What do you think this thing does in a quarter mile? If you think it's a drag track, you know what I'm saying? 100 hours or what? <laughs> <laughs> if you push it. Oh, look at the steering wheel, bro. Let me see that. Yo, even the steering wheel is high tech, bro. What? We got the transmission there that probably bangs like 14 gears. I wish I could sit on it, but... Ooh. Banging gears! I'm banging gears! He's banging them! He's banging them! There's, no, there's not even a speedometer on this thing. They just romped it back in the day. Dude, I don't understand what this was. There's Obviously a truck, but like, I wonder what the truck was for, or what year this is from. If anybody is a car expert, that can let me know. I'm actually pretty curious on what the hell this thing is, and why this Renautica app took us here. Well, there's more stuff I want to look at over there, back there where the shack was, so... We can kind of tell this is like probably like a really old abandoned construction site. I'm still really anticipating us coming across some crazy stuff. I just really want to. I don't know why I haven't had like the the, the adrenaline rush yet and I'm looking for it. I'm an adrenaline junkie. I know most of you guys are too. So let's freaking find some crazy stuff. This thing, it looks like it's like some sort of mining tool, I guess. Nah, nah, I don't know what this is. We got a big old piece of cinder block right here. That's what I like to see. Yeah, <laughs> baby. A cinder block. Nice. Yeah, this thing had to be like some sort of mining tool. 100%. Look at it, look at how big this thing is. It's had to go like in the ocean or something, you know? And then it like had the escalator thing, drag up all the they gold and treasure. Quarry. They used it for quarries. I don't know what quarries is. Educate me, bald man. Cinder block? I'm really nervous to where I'm walking because it's snow and I wanna like step into like a ditch and just fall a million feet into the ground. Cause then you're gonna need to start this bad boy up and mine me back to the top, you know? And that's gonna be very difficult to do. If you can see past all that, you can see the lights on where the house was. Again, I don't wanna like be seen filming a random house just in case it is nothing. I don't want the guy to come out here with a shotgun and shoot my head off. That Renautica app wants me to go right back here to where the guy's house is, which is very, very weird. America! Let's go, baby! Yo, we got an army on me right here, bro. This is actually really dope. What the hell? No way, dude. It's for sale, too. Should we buy it low-key? Dude, this place is actually getting weirder and weirder. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, this is freaking weird. It's like World War II stuff. What is this, like a mass grave? Bro, all the mining machines? Army trucks. Dude, they were underground, very deep. This could be like a mass grave. What if there was thousands and thousands of bodies below our feet right now? Yo, yo, now I'm getting pumped. This is gonna be crazy. What's in there? 
Just check and see if there's any else. Bro, this is like those fans you see when they're bringing a bunch of troops back and forth. Bro, this is like the real deal right now. The real deal. Look at the transmission. Oh, you look, 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 right there. You think it turns on? Oh, yo, this thing can turn on. You gonna try it? Let's see. Let's see if it turns on, bro. <laughs> if this turns on, bro, I'm done. Nothing? Nah, they got the lock in a good spot. Oh, man. That would have been sick. I kind of want to see in the trunk right now. Open the tarp. I'm scared. What's gonna be in the bag? Oh, I can barely open it. There's a cot. There's the bench where the troops would sit, I guess. There's a rag right there. Very awkward. I'm actually getting very, very anxious. I'm liking it. I can't believe this app actually works, bro. What in the world? What the I fuck are those? What are what? Those black things. Those are kind of sus. Dude, I'm telling you, mass graves, bro. Mass graves. We are on a mass grave right now, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, let's climb up there and check what's in top, on top of there. Bodies, I'm telling you, bodies. Anything? No. Yo, I think someone's here, they just opened the door. No way. Oh my God, get down, get down, get down. Get down. <laughs> Yo, there's someone over there. Oh my God. Hydro, hydro, hydro. Yo, guys, there's someone over there right now. It's Optimus Prime over there. Yo, this is another like World War. Yo, this is a cannon, bro. That's not a cannon. Oh, I thought it was a cannon. I'm getting a little too excited now. Another one right here. Yo, yo. Oh, someone's pulling in. What? Someone's pulling in. Someone's pulling in. Go, 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 go. Turn the light off, turn the light off, turn the light off, turn the light off. Oh, they're bringing in bodies. Yo, there's a big old truck right there. Dude, that looks like a phantom truck from Clinton Road. Yo, he's coming towards us. Yo, get down. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to run for the car. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's gonna drop off a bunch of bodies, bro. Oh, oh my god, the fans like to directly at me now. Dude, he sees us. Wait, yo, yo, he sees us. That? You hear that? Yo, yo, yo. He sees us, he sees us, he sees us. He's coming towards us. Yo, yo, be careful, be careful. Is he driving over here? Is this place? Oh, we'll drive. Put the key in. Oh, my fingers are frozen. Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. Headlights. Headlights. Oh, I'm putting the camera down for a second. Let's get the hell out of here real quick. Yo, we just pulled up to Wawa. I am still out of breath. Dude, what the hell did this place, this little Renatica app that sensed our little vibes. I guess we were feeling like some evil vibes from all the stuff we've been doing. But this this app just took us to, dude, I'm like pretty sure they got some weird stuff going on at that, at that place. They had that weird abandoned truck. They had a military truck. They had a giant Mack truck. Looks like they're dumping hundreds of thousands of bodies. Dude, come on. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it's, maybe I'm underreacting. Maybe it's something crazy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, smash that sub button, smash that like button, join the family, join the Duffies guys. And if you want, we're going to go on this app again and we're going to try to find the absolutely craziest weird stuff for you guys. Love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces! <laughs>